congratulations on the new book. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. It's called American Like Me. And it's it's um, reflections on life between cultures. What 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 might be happening in the world right now <laughs> that you thought that was a good time to focus on the American immigrant experience and the role of diversity in our society, <laughs> America Ferrera? Well, I've felt this way for a long time, uh -huh. for, for most of my life. But yeah. in recent times, I'm quite sick of being told that I'm not an American and that people like me are not what America is about because I am an American. I'm a true blue American. And, um, I love my country. And I'm really kind of upset that patriotism has been hijacked from people like me. I'm a patriot. I'm an American and I love my country. <laughs> and obviously, obviously, your parents who are immigrants to the United States yes. from... Honduras. From Honduras. Obviously, they love America too. They named you America. Well, how much more effort do they have to put into it? Steven, you have to read the book because, in fact, I'm not named after the United States of America. There are other Americas. Uh, Wait South, a second. Central. You are on thin ice, young lady. <laughs> you, were, you just scored huge points just now. There are there are other there Americas. Are other, Americas. Are other Americas, and we're not going to sue them. Okay, that's nice. For copyright infringement. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and my name, my, my name, it does not refer to the United States of. It refers to other um, Americas. Both, both continents? Um, both continents, North and South America? Um, I don't know if it refers to all of I'm named after my mom. And Your she, mom's named America, my, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that yeah. you were a junior. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Uh, and I talk in the book about how much, uh, how hard it was to grow up with the name America because I had to have this conversation so many times. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank, you. thank you. I just, I'm about to make you feel at home. Thank you. Steve. Well, uh, uh, how, how have you been since the birth of your son? The last time you were on, I think you just announced that you were expecting. I was. And, and now, you, now you have a child. How, how long ago did, was the baby born? He is four months old today. Oh, okay. That is challenging. He's, that's a ch that's a cha that's a challenging uh, time period. I'm it. having an amazing time, and I found that people don't want to hear that. People want to know like how hard it is and how terrible a time you're having. And they don't want to know like, oh, he's great and he sleeps awesome. They're like, shut up. We don't want to hear that. But he sleeps awesome. He kind of does. Really? So yeah. you're getting sleep too? I mean, ish. I'm still like breastfeeding and pumping and doing all of that. So he sleeps all night, and I still have to get up because okay. woman. Well, you're. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because woman, because that would woman. be a good name for a book too. <laughs> because woman. Yes. Now you're. We've talked about this before. You're a very committed activist. Mm -hmm. you, you, you. Besides doing the book, of course, you're an actress. You're also an activist. You're involved in a lot of different causes. Has having a, a child slowed you down from doing some of those things that you love to do? You know, you I travel all over the place. Yeah, I was afraid that it might. I was. I was a little exhausted by the world mm -hmm. as I was pregnant and needed to sort of step back and take a break. And, and it felt awesome to not be on Twitter all day or, you know. Isn't it nice? Be, it's so nice yeah. to like take a break from what's going on in the world. And I was a little afraid that I might never care again, that I might just, you know, stay in my little bubble, raise a great little son and just be happy. Uh, but. Um, it was You were very... afraid you might be happy. Yes, I was saying. afraid I might. God, don't that I let might... me be happy with my child. <laughs> I was afraid I might choose happiness. Uh, but um, very shortly after having my child, I, it was, I don't know, a week after I gave birth that images of children being ripped away from their parents at the border began to emerge. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. I, and, and not only did I have the same fire as before, but it all means that much more when you're a parent, as you know. Of course, yes. That it's heartbreaking on an entirely on a different level. level. So he was four weeks old and I left him with his dad, got on a train, went to DC to rally and march with tens of thousands of other people um, and pumped on the train there and back because woman. Because woman, <laughs> sure. And um, can you tell me you're, you're, you're urging everybody to take action on themselves. Can you tell us what's going on here? Uh, yes, this is uh, Linda Sarsour wearing a jacket that says, November is coming. <laughs> and, and it's 
and this is our this is our chance. This is our first real chance to put a check on the insanity that's happening uh, in this administration. And uh, if we don't show up to vote, um, we're we're giving up that chance to put a real check on it and to say. We employ these people. I mean, when has it ever been more obvious that we need all levels of government to work for us? We need all levels of government to be standing up and upholding our rights and protecting us. And they have failed. They are failing. And so we need to show up as their employers and say it doesn't work for us and vote out the people who aren't doing their jobs and bring in some new, inspiring, and exciting candidates. Well, okay, uh, Superstore returns uh, this coming up week for uh, its fourth season. Fourth season. Um, oh, we, what's going on here? This was, let me see if I, what order I should put this out first. This was, This Is Us put out these ads. They're everywhere. A little all show. Over. They're all <laughs> over. This is one of your, uh, your fellow NBC shows. And so you guys put up this, <laughs> nominated for zero Emmys. There you go. <laughs> this is just honesty. This is just honesty? It's, just, it's radical honesty about what's happening with our show. We've heard of that show, Entertainment Weekly. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I saw it on Hulu, Hollywood Reporter. <laughs> um, what, um, what can we expect from the season? Um, it's going to be so fun. I think what's so wonderful about this show, my favorite thing about this show, is that it's a comedy about people from all walks of life who are everyday, hardworking people. And we get to take on, you know, our season premiere sort of touches on the issues of Me Too and the movement and what's happening. But we have, we have people with all different political beliefs as characters on the show. And so my favorite thing is that we can take on these issues. Our writers can be smart and funny about it. But what you're seeing is people who disagree with each other, but who can coexist and and be kind to each other. Well, America's lovely to see you again. American Like Me, Reflections on Life Between Cultures is in stores now. America Ferrer, everybody. We'll be right back.